Let me drink some more water first before I start. Ew. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abimbala Craig. If this is your first time, welcome. Where have you been? Please help me subscribe, um, help me share, help me like this video. Um, and yeah, let's get into this video. So, <laughs> I'm thinking this might be a quarterly, maybe monthly thing. I don't know yet, but I'm going to call it a session. And I'm going to name it, if you see me glancing down, my notepad is on the couch. I'm going to name it um, Lagos and Doings, part one. And what it means is, I'm pretty much going to be talking about the things that I care about that's going on in Lagos. And um, I want you guys to share your thoughts as well. So Lagos and Doings part one. On diet, they were like small, small like sub subs, but let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about in Lagos and Doings. Hey, in the past month and a half, everybody's in Europe. They're in Paris, they're in London, they're in Monaco, they're in Monte Carlo, they're in Venice, they're in Italy. What is going on? I checked Virgin Atlantic the other day and um, tickets economy is like two million naira. Hey God. I bet one that they find this money. Maybe when I share um Yeah, when I see this money, one that they use. What they give on her? Where are you finding the money? Share. Because Country hard, country hard. Diesel price, inverter price, petrol price, rent, food, inflation, choke. I mean, where on they find this money? Everybody says there's no money, there's no money, there's no money, there's no money. But your people are flying out. Those of you are flying yourselves that some of you are getting flewed out. I remember when I spray this money. I when I share this money. What's really going on? There's inflation, there's a recession, but yet people are spending. Parties left and right. Weddings up and down. <laughs> 40, do party. 45, do party with a show. 50, party. 55, party. 21st, party. Wedding, party. 10 years flew your friends out to Istanbul. Come on. 40th Maldives. Where are they finding? Where are share? Because there's definitely money somewhere. I just, I literally just want a little bit. Where the garments they wear on the torch? Let me touch it. Okay, cool. The next one I'm going to talk about is a subtitle that I titled, hey, Last, last. Now everyone go chop breakfast. That's a line from Butter Boy's music, um, which is a sample of Tony Braxton's He Wasn't Man Enough For Me. And it pretty much means that eventually everybody will be heartbroken. Now, it's a saying that people say, um, however, I don't think everyone will chop breakfast. There are some of us that have oil and anointing and are sheltered from heartbreak. If you and me are in that same category, ah, it's a white oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. But jokes apart, um, I want to talk about this sub because it's interesting. I'm going to give you two quick, two quick stories about how this last last everybody's going to chop breakfast. But right now it's Lagos men that are chopping the breakfast. A friend of mine had been single for a minute, and he runs into this young lady, good looking, cute, whatever you know, call it what it is, and they start dating, and they're dating left, right, and center for about good eight months and somewhere along the line of the eighth month or in the eighth month um they go out and hang out with friends and everybody's drinking and everybody's having fun and this friend of the girl he's dating accidentally slips up and mentions husband 
And my friend paused this and he's like, what? You, 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 say, you say what? And the rest they say is history. My friend finds out that this girl he's been dating for eight months, sleeping with her left and right the whole of Lagos, dining and unwinding and has been married. And she been married for three years, still married. He shares that he just noticed that at night she would just go home, but he just assumed maybe she was staying with her parents. I'm like, guy, this is Lagos. How do you lot to date people and you don't know that they're married is still long and short, my friend is scared. Heartbroken and scared. Another friend of mine was dating this girl. They've been in and out of whatever they were doing for about a year before they officially kind of like, you know, put a name and put a title to things. And while they were celebrating their 25th day of being together after back and forth for a year, he flew her out to the overs. And while she's there, she pretty much just picks up a fight and throws a tantrum. And things just go a bit crazy. And the whole time he flew out to London for them to chill and whatever, um, he didn't even see her at all. She returns back to Lagos. <laughs> he returns back to Lagos and she goes funny. And then somehow along the line, he's running through or rampaging through his phone and his computer and he comes across her email account open on his system and he starts seeing pop-ups of like wedding planning. <laughs> <laughs> and my guy is thinking, no, this can't be possible. There are payments for photographers, there are payments for just wedding planning. In less than three weeks, this girl is married and pregnant. <laughs> he shot you! Barely 30 days after whatever happened with her, my friend. Till today, he's, he's lost. He, he's scared. He doesn't understand what's going on. And so this is to say that Lagos babes, <laughs> No, not fear God, you know, constantly men are scorned, men are scorned, men are scorned. All the people that I know that have chopped breakfast recently are the men that are scorned from women that are scorned. You people, you are angry. You are just moving mad, literally speaking. I think it's very unbecoming. Come on, you know. If you are tired of being in a relationship with someone, tell them. If you are dilly dallying in a relationship, let them know. Hey, just was come, come, come. I'm dating you, but I'm also dating somebody else. You cannot be dating me, dating color, shagging me, shagging color. And then you just go for me, and then I find out that you're about to marry color and you're pregnant. Bro, what's going on, man? Listen, all of you need to be very careful. This heart that God has given us is fragile. My advice to all of you is first of all, men and women, close it. But if you choose not to, um, guard your heart fiercely because people are on a rampage. It's like I said, the poverty and the inflation is affecting people's sense of thinking and sense of reasoning. Next thing I'm going to talk about <laughs> in Lagos and Dewey's part one is nannies and madness. If you have a nanny, male or female, most likely always female, be very careful with them. A friend of mine found out that her nanny is a porn star. No, you are not getting me. Let me say it again. A friend of mine found out that her nanny is a porn star. How did she find out? Her daughter, who is in her teenage years, um, was trying to take a picture with the nanny's phone and then opens up the nanny's phone and sees the nanny doing TikTok videos and then there's another app I don't know what it's called and then she says the nanny they're doing a lot of dancing and a lot of stuff but a lot of it is her naked sending pics of her breast of her lady parts to people then there are videos of her in bed doing certain things to herself If you see this nanny, <laughs> and when I say nanny, I mean like um, house help, um, household worker, whatever you want to call them, wherever you are from. 
please, um, ladies, be very mindful. Um, I think it's important that you, you, you make sure that your nannies, male and female, whatever help you have around the house, you're testing them frequently for any form of sexual transmitted diseases. Um, you're checking them frequently for just anything health-wise um, and that you're keeping a pin on them. I'm not trying to say you should own their lives, definitely not. But it's important that you have a rapport where they're honest enough to be able to tell you, listen, madam, I have a boyfriend who, by the grace of God, I don't want to do this for too long. Eventually, um, I want to get married or you need to get that kind of rapport with your nanny because <laughs> that's how it starts. Before you know it, go for me 10 years along the line, your child is telling you one day how the nanny molested her or him. It's this kind of craziness, you know what I mean? The world, the internet is crazy. They just brought lights, so in case they change over and I'm in darkness, I'm going to keep rolling because I want my international people to know that this is what electricity looks like in this country, it looks Nigeria. The power grid was down for two days, happening is back up again. These are the things that we go through, Lagos and doings. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Mm. The last thing I want to talk about. In Lagos and Doings Part 1 is the dating scene for the older ladies, for the grown folks. And yeah, for the grown folks, to be honest with you. Um, I'm noticing a pattern that I maybe I wasn't paying attention to. So in the comment section, I'm, I'm noticing a pattern that maybe I wasn't paying attention to. So in the comment section, I'm noticing a pattern that maybe I wasn't paying attention to. So in the comments section, please let me know your take on this or whether I'm going mad or I'm losing it. Um, and it's not it's nothing negative. I just I just didn't pay attention to it. Like I didn't clock it until now. I'm noticing that girls who are in their thirties and older are doing two things, right? Most of them are dating and marrying divorcees. Um, and the ones that are not are uh, dating and marrying younger men. And if I'm being honest with you, I like the idea of both. Um, if you had asked me three years ago, or four years ago actually, if I would have ever considered dating two types of men, one who have, or, or the ones who have kids and um, the ones who are once married, with kids or without kids, and I told you, hell no. No, after everything I've been through, no. But listen, Ra, the shift in perspective for me has been great. And it's not because of desperation, because I know I'm sure some of you are like, oh my God. And when you get to that age, once you're 13 now, you have no choice but to settle down. Nah, B, ain't nobody got to do what they don't want to do. No. It's the fact that I've been able to understand that. And I've said, and I've done a video about this, where the fact that you feel like you've been good your entire life, and good is relative. I just mean in terms of just being careful, being kind, being nice, dating with sense, dating with intentions, all that good stuff, biblically and morally, um, that you think that you're more deserving than other people. And so based off of that, you think that God is just going to give you a man who has never dated before, who is a virgin, maybe not a virgin, who knows? My point is, give you a man who is equally just as clean slated as you, just because you think that, because you've kept yourself and you've done everything according to his word, that is what you're deserving of. And then those who haven't are deserving of less. And so understanding that, realizing that that's not how God works and that's not how life works, has really made me realize that, you know what, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong. For the longest of time, and I'll be very honest to say this, um, it's not like I looked at divorced people, especially men, uh, or men with kids as damaged or anything. I just honestly, and I'll be very honest, and I'm, this is sensitive for me to be able to openly say this, I just honestly just assumed I deserved better. And so what I had to unlearn was that yes, I do deserve better, but better just means a kind and a good man. And if it means that he comes with certain add-ons, because that's what they are, um, it does make him less of a good person. And it doesn't make him less deserving of me. I don't know if I'm making sense. Anyways, and so um, I have a few friends who are married, 
or dating divorced men who are also young so it's not like these men are in their 50s or no they're still in their 30s as well and it's great to be able to see them open themselves up vulnerably to this man and vice versa and to be able to connect on such a high level where they're at that point where some of them are getting married, some of them are having conversations about marriage, and some of them are engaged. It's just really uplifting because the society that we live in, they sometimes make us think, and I say us in terms of those who are single, that we are better than those who are divorced, and that's not the case. Um, and then the second one will be uh, the, the ladies who are dating younger guys right now. I think I said that, that I think I've said this before that half of the guys who have been the most intentional with me, and probably more than half to be honest with you, having younger than me, younger by a year, younger by two years, three years, but listen, very intentional. They have great, amazing jobs, good looking men, just younger. And I didn't date any of them, not because of their age, to be honest with you. There were just a few things that just didn't settle right with me. But the point is, if you're one of those older ladies or grown ladies, I'm sorry, you all know I'm 35, so listen now, now we be. Um, but if you're one of those grown ladies who constantly stops herself from letting herself go with a gentleman who is kind, who is not trained, who has all the good values that you're looking for in a man and your only reason why you refuse to let yourself fall is because he's younger, I think you need to rethink again. Um, honestly speaking, I think that's another social. I think that's another social construct that we don't realize as women that, from time, have been put in place, and subconsciously we've all taken it in. My mom was a year older than my dad. I have a friend who's five years older than her husband, and they've been married going on ten years. I'm not saying everybody's situation is the same. Sometimes I'm just saying look beyond the age and look at the man and look at the person, and you never know where your happiness can lie. Anyways, that's what I'm going to say for now. I'm trying to make this video short, sweet. If you enjoyed any of the topics and subtopics I spoke about, let me know your thoughts in the comment below. If you think I should go ahead and do a Lagos and do it part two, let me know. If you have something to share or you want to hear my opinion about maybe a particular Lagos and doings that you know you know about and I don't know about, send me a DM on Instagram or comment. My battery is about to die. My battery is about to die, but thank you guys so much. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Until next time, I'm going to see you lots later. King gang. Kisses.